The international women's strike continues a very old tradition. Women workers have always led walkouts, strikes, and even revolutions all over the world in their quest for equality. International Working Women's Day, March 8, was first marked by socialists in Europe in 1911. One of the most dramatic celebrations of International Women's Day was in Russia in 1917. In the 1960s, women gave the event a new spin. Now 21st century women are revitalizing the tradition again. From the Ni Una Menos movement in Argentina, Uruguay, and Peru, to mobilizations in Poland and Iceland and the U.S., women are once again demanding equality in all the aspects of their lives. They're linking their rights in the workplace to their rights in the home, in politics, in media, and in matters of law and justice and war and peace. The international women's strike is evidence of a new wave of radicalism, solidarity, and internationalism. Leadership is coming from workers, mothers, women of color, indigenous women, differently abled women, immigrant women, old women, and girls. Muslim, Jewish, atheist, lesbian, cis, queer, and trans. This time, we're calling ourselves the women of the 99%. Women's lives connect because the issues we're up against are connected. And the pressure on the women of the 99% has only gotten worse under neoliberalism. In the workplace, at home, and outside of it, policies that favor men and white people leave a majority of the planet, women, at risk. That creates a massive pool of people vulnerable to exploitation, poverty, sickness, and violence. When women thrive, communities do too, but the same is true in reverse. Society couldn't get by without women's paid and unpaid labor, but it's not recognized, treated equally, or paid enough. In the workplace, two-thirds of low-wage workers are female. Precarious conditions make them vulnerable to everything from harassment and wage theft to violence. Women need living wages, one fair minimum legally enforced, and the recognition of women's rights under the law wherever they work. What else would help? Universal social services, like education, including for people with disabilities and special needs, health care for cis and trans women alike, care for people who need it at all stages of life, affordable housing and good public transportation. Good, shared social services help everyone, but will never get them as long as society can force women to take up the slack. White supremacy, just like patriarchy and neoliberalism, is real. Racial hierarchies make women of color's lives seem less valuable than their white counterparts. As a result, employers get away with paying women of color even less. Women of color have lower wages, less wealth, and shorter life expectancy than white women. Undocumented immigrant women are the most vulnerable of all. It's a drive to the very bottom for wages and services and rights. That's why it's important to stop mass deportations and start protecting everyone for all our sakes, says the women's strike. The International Women's Strike Platform recognizes two main pillars of the status quo, neoliberal and neocolonial policies and the police state. With mass surveillance, mass incarceration, police brutality, and militarization, the police state divides us. But only by working together across borders will we ever end colonization, militarization, climate catastrophe, and build a better society. Women are showing the way forward. Find out more at the International Women's Strike website. Thanks.